Last month, the British Museum revealed the theft, loss or damage of a number of ancient artefacts from its collections. It also confirmed that this was the subject of an ongoing investigation by the Metropolitan Police. The museum's management recently spoke of their determination to recover the lost items, and now a dedicated new webpage has been launched that revealed some of the missing objects, or rather, objects like them. These include irreplaceable ancient Greek and Roman antiquities, plus Bronze Age artefacts. On the advice of recovery specialists, the museum is not sharing full details of the lost and damaged items at this time, but the London landmark shared details and examples of the type of material that it believes has been stolen. The vast majority of the items are from the Department of Greece and Rome, and mainly fall into two categories, gems and jewellery. Classical Greek and Roman gems, cameos or intaglios are small objects, often set in rings or other settings, or left unmounted and unfinished. They may be made of semi-precious stone, for example sard, sardonyx, amethyst or glass, and they may be cast from a mould or engraved by hand. The majority of the gems are from the Hellenistic and Roman world, but some may also have been made in modern times in imitation of ancient gems. They may feature images of famous individuals from the classical past, or of mythological scenes, animals or objects. These gems were said to be of varying quality, and some will be fragmentary and damaged. In addition, gold rings, earrings and other pieces of jewellery dating from across antiquity are also among the missing items, especially from the Late Bronze Age, around the 15th to the 11th century BC, and the Hellenistic and Roman periods. George Osborne, chair of the British Museum and former Chancellor of the Exchequer, said, The trustees of the British Museum were extremely concerned when we learnt earlier this year that items of the collection had been stolen. The trustees have taken decisive action to deal with the situation, working with the team at the museum. We called in the police, imposed emergency measures to increase security, set up an independent review into what happened and lessons to learn, and used all the disciplinary powers available to us to deal with the individual we believe to be responsible. Our priority now is threefold. First, to recover the stolen items. Second, to find out what, if anything, could have been done to stop this. And third, to do whatever it takes with investment in security and collection records to make sure this doesn't happen again. This incident only reinforces the case for the reimagination of the museum we have embarked upon. It's a sad day for all who love our British Museum, but we're determined to right the wrongs and use the experience to build a stronger museum. Hartwig Fisher, director of the British Museum, said, This is a highly unusual incident. I know I speak for all colleagues when I say that we take the safeguarding of all the items in our care extremely seriously. The museum apologises for what has happened, but we have now brought an end to this, and we are determined to put things right. We have already tightened our security arrangements, and we are working alongside outside experts to complete a definitive account of what is missing, damaged and stolen. This will allow us to throw our efforts into the recovery of objects. If you are concerned that you may be, or may have been in possession of the items from the British Museum, or if you have any other information that may help, contact recovery at britishmuseum.org. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and most importantly subscribe. And you can also support the channel on Subscribestar via the link in the description, or via YouTube Super Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.